Hey folks, welcome back to Deadly Premonition. Uh, I'm gonna talk to Carol here real quick. So yeah, we just had a um, heart to heart with George hey, in the bar. Hey Carol. Becky is dead. Diane um, too. Wow, that's a hell of a way to start Nick a conversation. In a suspect. Nick didn't do it. Okay, you know I something. Know. Carol, you took a locket from Diane, didn't you? Yeah. A locket with this mark on it. It's a blank piece of... No, no, turn it around so she can see it, York. Well? I'm busy. Gotta go. <sighs> Okie dokie. <laughs> um, why are you walking like that? Do you have something stuck on the bottom of your shoe? Oh, God. And extra McExtrason Mc playing the piano. I dream of you. Oh boy. So, um, if you were watching last week, you know that some shit went down here. Um, I don't know how this game is going to top what, what went down last week. Folks, I'm going to be straight with you. <laughs> it's funny because I'm not. Anyway, um... <laughs> I I don't I know it's going to top it. I know it is. I know it's it's every time I say this game can't possibly get any more messed up, it does every single fucking time. So it's just a matter of when it's going to spring this on us. So I I don't even I don't even anymore. I'm just along for the ride and so are y'all. <laughs> for better or worse. Okay, so are we just watching Carol sing here? I'm... Is anything interesting happening in the background? <clears throat> uh? Okay, why are York and George looking around like they know something I don't? Hi, Shorty. Come on, Shorty. My cat's trying to climb up in my lap. Sort of. Uh, your your guy liner is running there, Mr. Pianist. <laughs> oh my god! Okay. Um, he's a little creepy looking. Extra McExtrason. Um, yeah. Very nice. Thank you, Carol. Okay, so George, do you know something I don't? Is that... George! Sorry to keep you waiting, boys. Oh? Did she change clothes already? Oh, no, nope, that's Emily! Oh, shit! Wow. Well, let's forget work for a bit and drink a little, shall we? It sounds York. like a plan. Why is she here? I don't know. I didn't invite I just her. just thought the more the merrier. You know, to relax and get loose. Is this a problem? No, um, of course not. No. She's a little overdressed, though. Pardon me, Emily, but I'm pooped. I think I'll just call it a night. George, I just got here and you're walking out on me? I was hoping the three of us could have a drink and let out a little steam. George already did. You're a little I'm late. I'm afraid I've already had enough. And I already had a good man-to-man -man with York. So <laughs> yes, he yes. did. <laughs> they didn't kiss, though. I'm disappointed. That's alright. I know the fanfic is out there. What is with this music? Emily's overdressed. Her music is overblown. Okay, so are we gonna have... I think George likes you. But he's avoiding you all at the same time. <laughs> How astute. There's a reason? Nothing worth going into. Uh? It's a oh, oh, no, no, no. You cannot leave it there, Emily. Come on. Come on. No, 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 no. Out. Out with it. Talk. Talk. Spill beans. 
<laughs> Thank you. Okay. He did ask me out when I first came to town. Oh, I was still George. In high school. But I never really considered him my type. Okay, extra and McExtra the sin gap thing too. with the uh, I running him, of guy liner is I wouldn't take this right job here next otherwise. to us. So, did you move to this town alone? Of course not. <laughs> I came with my parents. Tell me about them then. Sure, why not? My dad dealt in stocks in New York. He was hardly at home when I was a kid, always working. Mm -hmm. Those pieces of paper were far more important to him than I was. Wow, what a dick. Which is no different now, really. I, I don't see much of him. My mother, totally different story. A wonderful person that I still respect. Oh, good. She was always kind and understanding. Not only that, but she would always help me find my way. Well, that, that's good. I'm glad that... She could be that, fierce, uh, too, scolding me if I took a wrong well, step. Well, at least uh, she didn't beat we you with a tree battles, branch. Sure, but all in all, like some other she was mothers in this mother. game did. Jesus Christ, George, Cast no things. wonder he's so screwed up. Yeah, she's gone now. Aww. Cancer, just before I graduated high school. She gave this to me just before she died. I take it with me wherever I go. It's what I treasure most. What is it? Oh. I'm sure she's very proud of you. Now kiss? Do something? Okay. <clears throat> I think we're about done at the bar. Um, I think it's time to go back to the hotel. Galaxy of Terror. What is up with the I name of this bar anyway? Tonight. Oh, nice. Emily, please be careful. See you tomorrow. It's raining. We know what you happens are. when it rains in this town. Yes. Yes. Now kiss. Please don't lie to us, okay? Okay. I won't. Don't worry. I won't. I have a really bad feeling about this. Emily, please be careful. You just lit that! <sighs> Those things aren't cheap! Okay, is Emily already gone? I think she is. Okay. Let me, uh... So I guess I need to go back to the hotel? <clears throat> I'm just gonna, you know, hop the curb. Yeah, I think we're going back to the hotel. I think this is where we are going. Ooh, lightning. And I think I'm going the right way, I think. Oh, oh excuse me, sorry. Nope, uh, York has run out of things to say for this chapter, I believe. Yeah, yeah, we're going back to the hotel. Okay, excuse me, excuse me. Coming through. Oh god. Got plenty of gas, the car is in fine condition. Oh, God. All right. Yep, there's the, the shiny green thing, so let's just uh, ease on in there. Hey, you. hey, hey. Okay, the cats are frisky and unruly. Ah, uh, yes, it's report writing time. The uh, generic typewriter. Oi! Knock it off. Okay. <laughs> How long is he going to make that one last? Zach, let's go over our progress. Okay, Let, let's do. From what Olivia told us, and the sketchbook we found at Becky's house, uh -huh. 
Nick and Diane became our primary suspects. Right, except uh, Diane is there taking a, a dirt nap now. First, Becky gave the missing locket to Diane. Mm -hmm. Also, Nick has no alibi for when Anna and Becky were killed. Right. We followed Nick to the art gallery. Right. Which led us, unfortunately, to our third victim. That would be Diane. The third victim, Diane, was strung up in the entrance yeah, that was, of the Yeah, uh, that was some shit there. Her hands were tied and a knife was sticking out of her chest. Um, I don't remember the knife. However, there was a I, marked uh, difference from the previous crimes. She was in pretty decent shape. you remember sh what that was, Shape Jack? from, uh... Um... Is that it? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Diane was still Diane alive. Was still alive. Well, so was Becky, though. This suggests that very little time had passed since the crime was committed. I mean, you know, until George screwed the Which pooch. Which means the criminal but, um, was still close by. It was someone near the scene. There are two possible candidates. Yeah. Nick, who was knocked out in the entrance. And, and one other. Mr. FK in the so coffee. Who's the other person in the gallery? <laughs> no, not Kate, not Harry. That That's guy. Right. Casey. We followed Willie. Good, Good dog. dog. All the way to him. <laughs> Casey's statement came out as follows. He was there to get some. He and Diane were in a physical relationship. <laughs> that was why he visited To put the it gallery. delicately. The two were in the middle of such a meeting when mm -hmm. Nick showed up. A meeting, yes. Again, Diane putting it very it cool delicately. Diane up in the basement. <laughs> What did Kaysen hear when he was locked he up? He heard footsteps. Footsteps of boots. That's it. The sound of boots passing by. That's right. Nick and was boots Nick, that the day. son of a bitch, was wearing boots. Which means it was likely that Diane met with Nick in her room. Uh-huh. Nick said he argued verbally with Diane about her playing around with men. It but says the married guy who's screwing around on his wife. Yeah. However, immediately after that, Nick was attacked by someone, someone in the entrance hall quote, and knocked unquote. unconscious. Yeah, my entire ass. We saw the rest. Zach, I don't do know. Do you think that Nick is our serial killer? I don't know. Um. <laughs> what the fuck? Um. No, actually, no, I don't. Me too. Asha sent in a report too. But if it's not Nick, then he who the fuck is it? found a large volume of red seeds. Well, yeah, she was stomach. spraying them all over the place while she was describing this, this crazy her as a ass of the raincoat killer. sculpture to us while she was, you know, bleeding to Remaining death. leads. There is the, the locket, locket, which is in Carol's possession. The man with the tattooed back, and the upside down peace sign. Right. So who the hell is the guy? It's not Kason. I, I hope the coffee not, will give us more guidance the, tomorrow. The dude is not even remotely shaped like Kaysen. I mean, unless Kaysen's wearing a fat suit all over town or something. Zach, what did you think about George pouring his heart out? Uh, that was some shit. I was surprised. It's the end of a monarchy. I, maybe not, but, um... And he called me York instead of Agent Morgan. <laughs> he called me York. Yes, he did. Uh, hello? Who is knocking at my door? Uh, hello? Emily? What's going on? Do you know what time it is? Um, I'm sorry. I, I couldn't sleep, so I was drinking alone. Um, and then you drove to the hotel? Oh god, not the whistling song, my no! Very kind woman. No, this is no stop. You always smiled so brightly. Big cakes, this and is cookies not every day. Right now. She'd say that I needed the sugar because I spent so much time thinking. Okay. My father was always quiet. We never talked much. He was a federal agent, just like me. Oh, runs in the and family. He was hardly ever at home. The only words he ever had for me were harsh ones. Well. I had a vivid imagination and. I remember he once said this to me. There are plenty of crazy things in this world. You don't have to go dreaming them up. And it's my job to make sense out of them. 
Uh huh. One day you'll understand uh, what I'm York, saying. Your dad is kind of a dick. I found out later that my father was one of the first to ever use criminal profiling to catch bad guys. Oh, well, okay. And so now I'm doing exactly the same job that he did. Like father, <laughs> like son. What is that face, York? Mm, can I ask you something? Shoot. Shoot. Mind if it's something personal? Uh, here we go. Like the cigarette, sure. Who's Zach? Uh, that would be me. <laughs> um, what is with this music? Zach is a friend. Hi. Hi, Emily. It's me. Oh, I'm Zach. So you do have friends. Yeah. He's my only friend. Uh, I'm, what kind of person is he then? Well, I, I've never seen his face. But he's always with me, and we discuss everything. It's imaginary friends. When did you become friends? A long time ago. Back when I was a child. Oh, shit. Oh, snap. Something... Oh, shit! York, what the fuck? I was seven. I woke up one morning to hear my mother crying in the living room. This wasn't normal, so I headed in to see her. What? What the my fuck? My father was there pointing a gun at my mother. Okay, York, you win so the scared. shitty dad contest in this game. Close my eyes. So I, I don't uh, remember shitty, much more. You win the shitty parent contest. But I do remember the words my father said to me. At times we must purge things now, from where this have we world heard this because before? they should not exist. Even if it means losing someone that you love. What the fuck? When I came back to my senses, they were both dead. Oh my god. He shot my mother and then killed himself. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sorry you asked, Don't worry Emily? About it. Zach's with me. It was around that time that we became friends. I'm here. I'm with you, he said. I'll be here always. We can get through this together. Split personality. Yeah. Quite aside friend. from that terrible scene in front of me, that voice seemed to make me calmer. And You're welcome. We Working together. Getting through things. This is the first time I've ever told anyone about this. I wonder if Zach will get angry. No, that's cool. That's a it's, sad it, it's story. fine, York. It's you you've been through some but shit, so I don't want you to take this the wrong way, but I'm sure there was a reason for what you're Yeah, father maybe because he, he was batshit crazy. I know. I think maybe I became an agent to find out why he did what he did. Oh oh yeah, York, I I forgot to thank you. For what? Thank me. For what? You saved my life. Oh, well, yeah. If you didn't save me at the gallery, I would have died along with Diane. No need to thank me for that. I'm pretty useless. I couldn't save Becky. Well, I couldn't not... save Diane. Well, Becky was totally not your fault. What Diane you was say? not so much your fault. Useless? <laughs> I was oh, no, stop with this music. Say that. <sighs> There might be a modest oh, guy in Oh, God. Well. Finally, you notice? <laughs> You're a little slow, aren't you? Ah, uh, rude. Maybe <laughs> hopeless, but not useless. Now kiss? Nope, she's gone. Zach, do you think Emily got No, I, I have a bad feeling she didn't. Anyway, I think it's more serious of a situation yeah, than Yeah, this is... It's pretty serious. Do you remember? Our conversation with Emily. We just had it, of course. She's really interested in you. I know, she's hot too. I think she's starting to have certain feelings oh, really? for you. If that's the case, Zach, you and I are rivals. No, this no, is no. This a very serious situation no, it's, indeed. it's cool. I mean, you can... You're the one with the body. You can... Well, if it comes to that, let it be a fair fight. Agreed? Oh, no, it, it won't, York. It's, it's cool. It's cool. It's fine. Oh, God. 
Thomas. 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 What? Let me out of here. Nick. Come on, please. How about no? Just a moment. One second. No. Hate it in here, Thomas. Thomas. I'm going there. Okay, Nick is losing his shit. Come on, please. Thomas, and we've got Thomas, other world Thomas, music going here in the background. Thomas! 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 Thomas is not here listening to you. He ain't listening to your shit. Now, what is going on here? What the fuck? Um, what? What? There's the locket. Hey. Cleared. Alright. Yay. Fucking ceiling monster. Wow. Yes, I would like to save. Oh, episode 2, part 2 cleared. Yeah. Alright, we'll, uh... Previously... Previously during the investigation. So, you want to find out everything there is to know about Diane? Nick is leaving the bar. Wait! She's still alive. Stop right there, Nick. You're under arrest for the attempted murder of Diane Ames. Emily, hurry! You saved my life. No need to thank me for that. I'm pretty useless. I couldn't save Becky. I couldn't save Diane. Okay. Oh, we're dreaming again. Oh, good. I missed this. So, yeah, uh, now we know what York's deal is. Tea break. Um, shit. Any particular door I should be going in? Just uh, pick one and go, I guess. Okay, and that one just locked behind me, I think. Does it matter? That one's locked, okay. What if I go this way? I'll go straight. Just go straight. Just... Okay, is there any clue? there. Okay. Looks like the door wasn't locked. Okay, that uh, tells me nothing. So this is the... Uh, oh, hello. Totally not the Black Lodge. Totally not the man from another place. Who the hell are you? Open this door. There is no turning back. You still want to enter? Yes, I'm going alone. Oh, shit. Little baby York. Look carefully, boy. At times, we must purge things from this well, world uh, that York? They should not exist. You look like your dad. Even if it means losing someone that you love. Holy shit. <laughs> hey, um, she looks an awful lot like, um... 
Oh, fuck. Oh. Oh. Jesus. Good morning, York. All right, check your coffee. Sale. Mr. Morgan, do you want a refill? Yes, please. Yes. Oh, God. Thank you. The whistling song again. Uh, York, is give, the coffee give back it a cup. good, Mr. Morgan? Coffee is a vital investigative tool. I know exactly what to no, do. No, now. York, give her the cup. Okay, sale. Where? Where's Sale? Harry. <gasps> uh. It says to hurry. And the first letter of each give, line give, is give her the cup. A R R Y. Go talk to. Hurry oh, God. To Looks like the time that he was talking about has come. Let's go pay the problematic rich boy who owns half Give the town Polly a visit. your cup so she can put some coffee in it for crying out loud. Polly. I think I'm going to go see Harry today. Oh, really? He's a little strange, but I think he's the most trustworthy one around um, here. I think you'll have oh fun Oh, boy. I, if yeah. you say so, Polly, then we probably will. Of course. Now, give me your cup, and I'll <laughs> give you some more coffee. <laughs> oh, shit. I'll see you later, Polly. Um, okay. Mr. Morgan, what about the coffee? Uh, Don't you want a refill? Your coffee! <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go save. Uh, hello. I was gonna go save. Hey, dude. How you doing? Hey, am I still a suspect? No. He's got that tree with him. Okay, God. well, good. My wife and I have been living separately for over three years now. Mm -hmm. Diane, she's a single woman, so this shouldn't be Except a Except she's dead, dude. That's true. I feel so bad for Diane, though. Gosh, did, did you find out who did it? No, not yet. I can't discuss that. Yes, of course. I, I understand. You don't have to tell any of the folks around town about me and Diane, do you? No, no, no God, no. We we don't even want to think but about it's it. A really. Small town. I'm sure the rumors have started already. Mm -hmm. Nothing to be ashamed of, right? What's there to worry about? Nothing in particular. No, nothing at all. I, I'm clean, uh -huh. as clean as the sheets in this hotel. I don't know about that. These sheets are pretty damn clean. Uh, Polly busts her ass to keep this place running. York is not having any of What's his shit. What's with that look? We don't have a problem, <laughs> right? This fucking guy. It looks like Kaysen is involved with another woman in town. We can only hope it isn't Emily. Um. And then he just sits back down. Okay. All right, folks. Well, um, I'm going to save and call it a night. And next time, I guess we're going to go visit Harry. So I'll see you then. Bye-bye.